Okay, we're in round one, we're on the draw. This hand is a bit suspect. All other than the P foul, we probably want to mulligan this one. Like we're not really doing anything early. We don't have our main color. I think we gotta do better than that. All right, I guess this one's okay. This one still needs some help too, but we're gonna keep this one. Bottom that. I mean, this one at least I can go Screecher into like P Foul maybe or Freighter at worst. And then have a 3 1 flyer attacking on turn four, which is okay. All right, opponent says Swamp Go. Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't mind drawing a glass blower's puzzle on that right now. Uh oh. Next turn's pretty important. Blue black mirror. That was a good turn. All right. Let's jam our Screecher. Can set me up for a P foul next turn if I draw land. Otherwise, I guess we can play the broker now. Can trade with something and pump my Screecher anyway. Snare Thopter is a good card. Foundry Inspector is doing some work right now. It's a lot of puzzle knots. No attacks. Guess. Loving that guy. All right, let's play the P-Foul. And hang out. I don't want to trade my Screecher for a Glint Nest Crane. Doesn't seem very good. So we definitely want to get the, the Malfus squad out there because we want that servo token. So we have a good shrewd negotiation trade target. It's one of our stronger cards. So being able to eventually steal something bomb our opponent's got is going to be a necessity. All right. Tidy conclusion. Not bad. So let's drop the squad and get our little servo duder. No real bombs from our opponent yet, but... Okay, cashing out the puzzle knots. Good thinking. This card's good. I like it. Especially in my opponent's deck. Pay one, draw a card, lose a life. Get an artifact. All right, cashing out. Doesn't really have good attacks, right? Okay, so we have tidy conclusion. We've got some options. I think we're just going to do the... I think we'll do the freighter, actually. I mean, freighter attacks well right now. Broker wouldn't be bad either, but it also blocks well. 
So we'll just play the freighter and pass. We look like basically we're just actively seeking a bomb to shrewd negotiation and steal. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to get a 4 6, but I am willing to tidy conclusion that. I could take a 4 6. So, opponent puts a puzzle knot on top of their. I don't even think it's that good. I don't even think that's all that good. Basically, you're going to have to draw this. You're going to have to replay it, lose another life to get a card you would have drawn anyway, and then pay another three mana to get the extra card. It's kind of an expensive roundabout way to get card advantage, but it does work, I guess. Ooh. Well, now I don't have to bust the uh, tidy conclusion. So... Let's just go Operative Breaker, or why do I keep calling it a Breaker? What's a Breaker? Let's play an Operative. Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9. All right, let's play the, the Broker and the Operative and pass. I could also tidy conclusion the Crane and just start going over top. I probably am going to do that now. I mean, make obsolete's going to get us pretty good, but nothing to be done about that. Okay. Snare Thopter. I guess I can take that. It's probably worth it. All right, let's swap a servo for a thopter. And I still have the tidy conclusion when I need it. Maybe just kill the crane next turn we'll see haven't decided yet it would let me especially if I draw land it would let me get in for a lot of damage next turn I maybe actually just, just wanted to attack with the Broker, too. Because if I pump the Screecher, that's way better for me. Okay. Unblockable Serpent that we can deal with and race. Especially if my opponent pays 6. Sentry, not bad. Yeah. That probably tells me I just want to go puzzle knot into sentry. I'm willing to take a hit from this gear seeker thing if I have to. So let's do some scryage, shall we? Screecher and a pillar bug. 
Uh, we don't need the pillar bug. Do I want the screecher? I guess that's fine. Another flyer? Yeah. Opponent's only got one. Yeah, the puzzle knot and the sentry definitely work very well together. So, is my opponent going to pay 6 to make it unblockable? It's a good chunk of their mana. Freighter's been kind of just chilling the whole game, hasn't it? It's okay. I guess that's where the night market guy would be good. So, you get to copy it twice? All right. Makes things a little more difficult. Hmm. Oh. With make obsolete mana up? Kind of makes me think my opponent's got make obsolete. This attack doesn't make sense otherwise. So I think we're going to block. Maybe not. Okay, well, that's kind of weird. So I guess I can attack with Peafowl and Snare Thopter, take my opponent to four, play the Screecher, leave up the Sentry to tap this, that leaves me with three blockers for, I can tap this. I'm still fine on life, so let's just do that, I think. We'll, we'll be left with three blockers for uh, quite a few attackers, actually. Maybe that is dangerous. All right, I guess we're just going to get in with Snare Thopter. Opponent's only got two flyers, though, so I still should be able to kill them. So let's attack with our Thopter. Play the Screecher. And pass. So I think I'm going to keep the Sentry up. I'm going to let my opponent... I think, because I can deal with enough other things where I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Contraband Kingpin. Still should technically be able to kill our opponent here. What's this crazy card do? Okay. That's pretty awesome. Opponent should be dead though, they're out of cards in hand. So make obsolete looks like it does deal with a lot of little things. A lot of one ones floating around. We didn't see any bombs to use shrewd negotiation for, did we? Um I'm not gonna use the sentry. Okay, now I will. So we'll tap the Thopter. Untap, draw. All right. Okay. So we beat the game one mirror. Opponent's deck is 
lot of little dudes, but we haven't seen the full value of the little dudes just yet, have we? Marionette Master is a cool card. Hmm. I mean, we didn't see anything too scary. I might be willing to drop the Shrewd Negotiation for a Make Obsolete, and for the reasons, like I said, there's not any, like, bombs to steal from my opponent that we saw, and there are a lot of, like, little things that we can kill. There's also Mind Rot, which honestly is probably good in this matchup. So maybe we drop the negotiation until we see a bomb and drop Hmm. Well, let's bring in the make obsolete. How do I get the mind rod in here? I could drop maybe like one of the puzzle knots. This one just scries and gets me energy, which is basically just good for the sentry. This one draws me cards, which is probably better than scrying. All right. Let's bring the mind route. Although on the draw, is mind route worse? No, on the draw, it's probably better because they don't get the extra card. They get to run out their hand a little bit quicker. Let's try it. Hmm. Yeah. Sand's certainly acceptable. Got that pillar bug. All right. Bug into P fell, not bad. Could actually go freighter into P fell and attack for five. Maybe that's actually better. Probably is. The earlier you get those vehicles down that you can attack with, the better. So we're gonna go try freighter into P fell. Yeah, Freighter's still good against those, too. That was a good draw. Does that change anything? Because now I can just play this and beat from above. No, I think we actually still play Freighter. <laughs> because next turn I can play the Sky Whale, activate the Freighter... Yeah, that's pretty insane, actually. That's aggressive. That's turn four, swing for five. Turn five, swing for nine. Ooh, serpent already. Well, I've got good news. I get to take care of that. All right. Bad news is I can't attack with my freighter anymore. That's all right. We're still going to play the Sky Whale. We're going to take a pretty big beating next turn. Actually, it's not even that bad. I can still block with my freighter on a servo. And I will. And I will. And then we can tidy, tidily conclusion that, that gear seeker. All right, so let's activate. Eat a servo. Take six. Huh. Well, that's difficult. Turns out Shoot Negotiation is a good card. Well, Gear Seeker Serpent's a good card to steal, too. Um, 
Yeah, it's going to make things a little difficult, though, isn't it? So, I do definitely have to cast Tidy Conclusion. Now the question is, what do I cast it on? I guess we still do it on the Serpent. And I'm going to have to play the P-Foul and be able to block plus Subtle Strike. I can do that. I don't have a ton of time left. But, all right. I think we're just going to play the conclusion while my opponent's tapped out. I don't want to worry about bounce effects and stuff. And counters. Bounce and counters. So we'll just kill it and gain some life. All right. All right. Okay. So we got our mana that we needed. Or I guess we didn't need it, did we? Um, so I can play P-File. I can activate Freighter. I can attack for five. Do I want to, though? It's not bad. My other option is it lets my opponent smash back with Inspector, though. Hmm. Well, we're definitely playing P-File. This much is for sure. Uh, and we can leave up the Subtle Strike. Could also just play the Puzzle Knot. Go to nine. We're still going to be okay. And we're going to have to stop that next turn. All right, let's just play the Puzzle Knot. Draw our card. All right. So now we pass. All right, take our medicine. Oh, that thing's huge. All right. All right. Okay. So what all can we do this turn? Seven mana. We we need to. So we need three devoted to the subtle strike P foul thing, so we can kill this. So that leaves us with four mana. So I guess we play the pillar bug, because then we can still give it life link too. And we can pump it with the subtle strike, which I think is. Probably pretty good. All right. So we'll play Pillar Bug. And we'll pass. And we can still give Flying and Subtle Strike. So, yeah, it looks like Shrewd Negotiation is a lot better now. Then make obsolete based on the actual bombs we saw this game. All 
Like, I, I should have... I forgot about the Serpent. And Serpent's a good one to steal since we can actually activate the ability. And Automaton is a fine one to steal, too. A 5-7 is a big body. Okay. All right. So here is the game plan. We're going to chump the automaton. We're going to block the inspector. And block the, uh, the whale. All right. So we go here. We go here. And we chump here. Okay. So we go subtle strike. Neg one, neg one, pump life linker. And then life link. All right. All said and done, that worked pretty well. Contraband Kingpin. What does this guy do? Artifacts you control have hexproof at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control the artifacts, you get to draw a card? Jeez, and he's got the automaton? Seems like good value. Dot com. That is, uh, that's a tough one. All right. So, let's cash out our... Puzzle knot first. Mind rot with zero cards in my opponent's hand. Well, there's where mind rot really shines. Let's play the crane. A miss. Lose like all of our flyers and death touch would have been insane right now. So basically lose a bunch of good cards. Uh all right. My opponent's just gonna be able to draw cards, is that right? Jeez. I'm too low on life to do an attack here, too. So my opponent just gets to draw cards while I sit here and do nothing? That sucks. Could rip a Noxious Gear Hulk. Kill the legend. All right. Guess we'll play a flyer and pass. Might as well mind wrap my opponent's one card, I guess. As I suspected. So I guess we can start getting in with flyers. It's not going to do us 
whole lot of good. But we can still threaten to double block the accomplished automaton, so I guess we've got that going for us. Oh, that seems insane. Yeah, maybe we need a counter spell. I don't know. That mind rot plan worked so well for us, though. Yeah, I think we're probably so we're probably just going to be swapping out the mind rot, and I guess bringing back shrewd negotiation. I'd probably rather just have something that can copy rather than something that can counter. I mean, we're going to play the game out, but this is definitely a lost game. Hmm. My opponent can kill two things because I have to block with everything, so I guess we just have to probably lose our um, pillar bug, I guess. Get some lifelink. Oops, not that one. Hmm, that looks familiar. Hmm. <laughs> So I think I'm going to drop both sideboard cards I, I brought in, which is kind of funny. I probably would have just uh, made it four power and then just start swinging with my servos. Because each servo that dies, I lose four life. That's pretty insane. Yeah, we saw the Marionette Master too. I guess that guy's pretty bomb. It's probably worth a shrewd negotiation. All right. I've not been checking my opponent's scries just because we're a little bit tight on time. 
not like ridiculously tight on time, but tight enough where I have some concerns. All right, so we'll activate this, just that, and then we'll block like this and chump here. Get a little more lifelink. All right, we lose a life. Sentry. Well, at least my opponent already knows about it. Is it a may draw or? Well, at least you have to draw. It's good for when you want to mill your opponent out. All right, swinging with everything, I assume that's got to be lethal, even if I were to, say, block the biggest things. That's got flying. Um, so let's see, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I could buy one more turn. Is that right? In that case... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't do my math correctly. Oh, yeah. The old marionette master. All right. So, card I just brought in, out. Card I just brought in, out. And you're back. Um... Mm, select for inspection is actually good against opposing shrewd negotiation, isn't it? Attack me with my own guy, return it to my hand, scry one. It's actually kind of good. Uh, what was the other card I... Oh, the, the puzzle knot. Huh. The fact that my opponent can use my puzzle knots is a little bit worse. Isn't it? Aether Trade Winds is probably pretty good, too. Bounce the thing he stole from me. Yeah, that might actually be worth it. All right. All right. We still haven't seen our Gear Hulk, either, so maybe that'll come up. We'll find out. Yeah, this hand's actually good. So, Screecher into Windrake at worst. Screecher into maybe an artifact if we can find one. Ooh, we get a turn for Midnight Oil, so that should be cool. Alright, well, we're not going to do the Midnight Oil. I'm going to attack first for the Subtle Strike value. If my opponent doesn't block, we'll play Midnight Oil. If my opponent does block, we'll Subtle Strike. All right. All 
I mean, you can you can technically hold off on the Midnight Oil, too, but let's get that card advantage going. It's just too good to pass up now. All right. Let's go for the long game value here. All right. So I'm going to kill that guy. Cuz I'm the only one that wants to draw cards around here. We're going to take that, because I might be able to get rid of that Meltdown if I can bounce my Screecher at some point. Ooh, Noxious Gear Hulk. Well, let's just bust it out. Oh, I've got a discard. That's right. Um, let's dump the sentry, I think. So if we can draw a land, we can make a double play. That's all we really need to do. Yeah, we really didn't want him to have that, but there you have it. So we have some ways to get our way back, climb our way back in this, but that's not it, and that's not it. So a bit of a bummer there. Let's figure this out. What's the best play? The P-Foul plus an Operative, maybe? That way we can double block our own Gear Hulk. It's probably fine. And then we have to discard the rest of our hand. Yeah, I guess that's going to have to be all right. So we'll keep our... Uh, probably don't need card advantage. Hope... Well, we might need the lifelink. All right. I mean, we're drawing a bunch of extra cards, so I'm really hopeful we can find what I need. <laughs> it's just, it's a bummer, man. The two cards just paid out. Well, I guess even if they just had artistry, it would have been a bummer. But this is obviously a much, much bigger bummer, and we're going to lose this game now because of it. But I, I don't know what to do about it. That's just one of those things that happens sometimes. It's a bummer. We drew a bunch of extra cards, too, just actively seeking any sort of defense and just not finding it. So I am at a loss of what you're supposed to do about that.
Ah, yes, the old post-combat Chief of the Foundry play. Very good. All right. We are very dead. We'll see in round two. Yes, I could have drawn off puzzle knot. Make obsolete. I'm still dead. All right. We'll see in round two.